there we go. And oh boy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this, what now? Hours, <laughs> Light up slip bobber like that. A lot of these spots just load up. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video and uh, the sun is not coming up. The sun is in fact going down right now and it is finally not 105 degrees out today. The heat has just been incredible. Whatever video you guys saw last, which I believe was yeah, the spinner rig video where we caught them over base and that was filmed today as well this morning before it got super hot out and uh, you know there's always two ways to skin a cat is I think the way that phrase goes but um, we're out here in the evening now and a lot of times these fish that are slightly moving deeper that we're catching throughout the day today on the spinners a lot of times they'll come back to structure on a lot of these lakes or kind of the shallowest those fish will be all day is a lot of times right in the evening or in the morning hours so in those low light periods this is pretty common really throughout the course of the walleye fishing season right but we're going to show you a different way to fish for those fish today. Something I used to do a lot, and man, I have not done it in years, and I'm kind of excited to do it. The sun is about right about at the tree line right now, and we're going to get some slip bobbers going, some light up slip bobbers, and these things are not turned on yet, so don't be surprised if you're like, Tom, that's not a light up slip bobber. This is a VMC light up slip bobber. I used to use a ton of these, and it's kind of a cool way to fish. You cast into the water, it turns on, and uh, you can watch your slip bobbers all night long. So I don't know if we're going to like start right now and catch a few fish. That there's a pot of fish right behind me right now, so I don't know if we're gonna do that or just wait till it gets dark, but I'm kind of too antsy to really wait. I actually, oh, that was a terrible cast. I was actually kind of waiting for it to get dark and I'm just seeing all these fish right behind me and uh, just kind of got too excited, but um, we'll definitely be fishing into the dark and uh, we're gonna see what happens. But like we were saying, you know, a lot of these fish might spend their day out over the base and then towards the evening hours, they might kind of come into some of this structure that tops out in that 12 to you know, 15, 17 foot range for a lot of times. And a lot of times we're looking at uh, um, like little rock bars or little rock fingers or humps or things of that nature. If you're in a lake that doesn't have those, you're gonna be talking about like a shallower weed hump, a shallow main lake weed point, things like that. But you know, like we were saying, a lot of times this time of year, um, you know, these fish are generally going to come the shallowest at, at, you know, in those evening hours. Great way to beat the heat, number one, and also beat the pressure, number two. I thought we were already down for a second, but that's what we're going to do today. Stay tuned. We got one bobber in the water right now, and uh, let's catch some fish. Well, that uh, did not take long. <laughs> probably should have just kept the intro going, huh? And, uh... If my calculations are correct, there's probably just a whole bunch of fish back there. Um, normally I kind of shoot the intro, stop the camera quick, and uh, so I remember that clip is there. But uh, in this case, we just didn't even get to that point in the process and we already got a nice walleye on. And man, slip bobber in the evening on top of some of these spots is a lot of times, like we said, the best time of day to do this kind of stuff. Is, you know, you, you might come out this time of day see just a ton of fish on the tops of this stuff and then you might come out tomorrow at 10 a.m and it's just like there's no fish around and then obviously the thing to do is a lot of times troll open water or do something a little bit more finessey off that edge if you can find a concentration of fish but this evening especially rock related slip bobber type bite phenomenal and uh, i know we filmed a lot of slip bobber stuff this year which is kind of why i didn't want to do a a routine go out in daylight hours and shoot the same exact video you guys have already seen a bunch of times but there's just a gorgeous little 18 entry to get things going we normally i cast out three bobbers at a time and uh we only got one bobber in that time <laughs> so there's obviously a bunch of fish back here now i don't know if we're just gonna we might have to slow ourselves down and just kind of like wait till it's dark which would be this kind of the smart thing to do to get this video but it's just kind of hard to wait. I'm sure if any of you guys were here, you guys wouldn't be waiting around dilly-dallying and just waiting until it gets dark either because these fish are already, definitely are already sliding into some of these areas. So we're just going to pepper a few more bobbers back in there. Where do I want to go? Maybe like right over here with one of them? Oh, look at that right there. <laughs> Another fish on. I was actually just kind of jogging a little bit on the spot lock here and wow it has been let me look at the gopro it has been 45 seconds since uh, the last fish catch here and this feels like a pretty almost feels like a bass though is it really a bass 
It'd be kind of weird, but it definitely uh, could be a bass. No, nice walleye here. He was just really dogging her there for a second. And wow, in just no time, this little evening slip bobbering deal, a couple of nice fish. And it feels kind of an old school thing to do. I remember kind of uh, when I started fishing a lot in this area, you know, he'd see the same five boats go out every day about now. <laughs> and they'd all have, they'd all have lighted slip bobbers on. And I think they used to run, uh, well, there's a lot of different kind of old school light up slip bobber deals, but um, a lot of them take that like weird, that weird pencil shaped battery, which I don't know, those things just never really seem to work that well. Um, but these VMC ones are definitely <laughs> pretty fun. We don't need them quite yet, but soon when it's dark, we'll definitely be um, needing the lights. So there we go, boom, boom. And we actually, when we came out fishing today, like I said earlier today, when we were fishing more of this uh, spinner rig pattern, we were just not seeing fish like on structure. And I've been on the Mississippi for, uh, well, like four or five days last week. And when I left, all of these fish were on these kind of spots. And when I came back, none of them were here. And that's just how quick it warmed up. You know, a lot of these fish pushed a little bit deeper. And uh, they're still coming back up here in the evening hours, which kind of figured what happened. But a lot, and a lot of times slip bobbers just keep kind of repetitive casting to these little sweet spots. So we're just going to keep throwing them kind of to the same little zone, letting them drift through and sit there. And, We'll keep catching them. Oh boy, as we're re-rigging a rod here, something's down. There we go. And oh boy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this, what now? <laughs> oh man, are we having uh, too much fun? Well, this is it's just, I'm not gonna be able to reel in both these fish at the same time, so we're going to probably lose one or the other. You guys ever seen such a fiasco as this? So I'm just gonna throw that guy in a rod holder here probably for a second. What are the odds this other one is still on? What do you guys think? This is actually about a, looks like about a 20 incher on that rod. <laughs> I was just rigging up my third bobber. You know, I can still see that one jogging around, so we're still good. Come here, buddy. All right, this is the smaller of the two, I believe, although I only looked at the other one for a brief second here. That rod's still dancing over there. He's still on. I mainly just don't, I always hate uh, giving him too long on a slip bobber. That is never a good thing. This isn't kind of slip bobbering where you, you know, see the bobber go down, wait 10 seconds, set the hook. This is just like, bobber goes down set the hook they're not down there contrary to the popular belief they're not just down there uh you know giving the leech a taste test when they bite it they're gonna bite it here we go let's scoop them up <laughs> oh sometimes they just cooperate for the camera sometimes they don't but sometimes they do like they are right now and man just a lot of these real nice fish that is awesome look at that <laughs> leech just coming out of his mouth get you popped off here quick buddy a lot of times you can just kind of run your finger down that hook shank and pop them right out like that. And there we go. A couple of fish so far. Actually, I think we're four fish in. Maybe more. I've kind of lost track. But uh, like I said, you can come out here in the middle of the day and try this and not as good. Come out here right as it's getting dark and wow. And you could do this well into the darkness. I always hate filming at night because the camera, it's just, you know, has its own set of problems and rules. But... We are catching them right now. And like I said, you can literally come out here and do this most nights and have some pretty good success. And fish on. <laughs> oh, is this fun. And this is a phenomenal bite. If, you've if, someone, if you have a friend that has never gone walleye fishing, one of the most fun interactive ways to do it is to get them slip bobbering. Very visual, obviously very easy. You don't have to worry about having the exact right jig cadence or all those kind of things. And this time of year, and this way to do it, where you just come out here right at the end of the day, sun's going down, get on a shallow rock hump, and it is very, very cookie cutter type of pattern. I mean, you can do this, you know, on a almost any lake, you know, especially a lot of these like more clear style natural lakes that generally will have a good night bite. Look at a map, find a hump that's like, generally between 8 and 17 feet, 8 and 15 feet, somewhere in that zone. And uh, 
get on it, especially if it's some good rock, throw a bunch of light up slip bobbers back at it and just catch a ton of them right at that sundown hour. Let's let that guy go. Oh, look at this, down. And fish on. <laughs> we actually just moved to spot number two just to try something different here. And this is either a really nice walleye or a smallmouth bass digging around in a circle right here. No, oh, no, we got the right kind. <laughs> He's just really giving her a little hard extra hours here. Come here, buddy. There we go. Two spots. And uh, both of them seemingly have fish. He just chucked the jig right out of his mouth there. Which we'll, we'll take that. And man, it is just, uh, like I said, it's just a cut and paste pattern that basically works everywhere. Come out in this early summertime frame in the evening hours, fish a little bit into dark, and just catch a ton of fish. Oh boy, we got a smallmouth on this rod right now. We gotta put this in the holder. And another bobber down here. I wasn't even gonna film the smallmouth. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Wow, has it ever just turned into an insane smallmouth bite after dark here? Kind of crazy. All of a sudden, this humperon's just infested with bass. What is up with that? I'm fine with that, though. <laughs> Come here, buddy. There's number one, the other one is still on. Man, the number of doubles. So we are on spot number two. And uh, this is just how insane it is. It's been just nonstop fish catching for like the last 45 minutes here. There we go, nice smallie. We're gonna get this guy, is he even still on anymore? Is he tangled around my boat? What's going on? There we go. We do still have him on. <laughs> oh, just absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. I'll see if we can grab them here. This one's a little bit chubbier. I should probably move spots now to get away from the bass grind, but come on, buddy, stop doing whatever you're doing here so I can grab you. He's just going ballistic right now that he's halfway out of the water. There we go. <laughs> Honestly, there just has not even been time to breathe between the walleyes and the smallmouth in the last 45 minutes here. Just incredible. I don't know how that well that fish is showing up, but just crazy, crazy, crazy in the dark slip bobber fishing wow it's just incredible like i said we're on spot number two we've been fishing for like 45 minutes now and just unbelievable i mean just fish after fish after fish oh boy she is down and we are hooked up right there try to get my light on here there we go she is dark out now Feels like another decent fish. Just literally let those two smallies go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nighttime is just the right time sometimes. You know, a lot of these lakes that just get crazy, crazy pressured all day long. Hardly see them to net them. <laughs> you come out here this time of day and it's just a different world. And uh, I'm sure you could sit out here and do this like the entire night. It is just one of those patterns that, my gosh, is it effective. We hardly ever, do it anymore for some reason i think that's just because um the, generally i absolutely hate filming at night so you guys let me know how some of this footage even looks but man no simpler pattern out there than get on this a lot of these shallow rock humps in the evening hours light up slip bobber like that a lot of these spots just load up with fish leech this time of year man such a simple way to fish and just unbelievably effective and for the small amount of time we put in just an absolute ton of fun. Awesome. Let's let that guy go. It's too cool. See you later, buddy. All right, well, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this one. This is actually the second video we filmed today, and uh, with success. I could keep fishing, but there's actually one of these huge pop up, hot, humid day thunderstorms coming in. I can see the lightning right now and hear the thunder, but obviously, incredibly productive, quick little outing. We probably fished for about an hour total, um, two spots, and just caught an absolute ton of fish. Walleye, smallmouth, a little bit of everything. You could sit out here all night and keep catching these walleyes and smallmouth, I'm sure. But um, if you guys want to try it, you know, like I said, it's a super, super simple 
simple thing to do. Um, you know, if you're casting those things out at sundown and you're letting them sit for 10 minutes and they're not going down, go right to the next spot, right? I didn't even do a whole lot of like looking for fish today. Um, just kind of, you know, some of these spots that are just so cookie cutter that you know, on a, especially on a lot of these real clear systems, that fish are going to be sliding up on them in the evening hour. So, and a lot of these spots are real good rock spots. So, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. I'm um, not sure what we're going to be doing next. There might be a couple more local videos where I fish until kind of I go back on the road, but uh, we'll be back traveling soon. So drop some comments below on where you guys want to see us fishing. I'm kind of on a river kick where I'm really enjoying fishing rivers, but I don't know if that'll continue or not. So thanks for watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.